Let's go inside the Netscaler MPX 8000 series. This is the original 8000 series. There's five screws to get rid of. Two in the front sides, two in the back sides, and one in the rear. Once you get those screws off, the top can slide off. And voila! We have a Supermicro motherboard with a quad core single E3 1725 processor it has hyper threading so there are eight threads depending upon how it's configured you're gonna have your network cards on the right hand side here this one has six SFPs and six gigabit right behind that is your cadmium board there's 32 gigabytes of RAM. Here are your SATA cables. Now remember, this is the original 8000 series, which has four drive bays. It only required one drive bay for an SSD, which had the flash and the data disk in one device, two separate partitions. Okay, But what's great about these units, if you can get them, it has the four bays, and of course there are six... SATA slots. You could actually probably add another two drives to this, no problem. It has dual 450 swappable power supplies, and it has over here USB 3.0. All you would need to do is get a header cable. You can break out USB 3.0 if you ever wanted that. Now, in the front here, which is really the back of the board, but it's put in backwards for this device, this green port is your console port, serial port. This blue is video. You have a two, two built-on management LAN ports. And it also has built-in video. Built-in video, onboard video. Uh, I'm not sure if it's coming from the chip or if it's, this is this Novatone. This has the AM... I BIOS, no longer Phoenix BIOS, and there is another X8 PCIe slot here that's not being used. So there's a lot of expansion possibilities with this device if you wanted to get it. I got this one. The seller didn't know what he was selling. He just called it a net scaler. I think I paid $59 or $79 plus shipping to get it to Poland. Well, well worth it well well worth it for everything that's in here um, yeah it, what's great about this one it's very quiet in the BIOS you can set full speed for the fans or you can set automatic and then when you set it for automatic at boot up time the, the fans do race full speed for a little while and then it cools down slows down and it is very quiet I mean it's still noisy but it's compared to the uh, MPX 8 uh, 75 100 or the 5500 it is very very quiet and only five fans uh, at least in the case and of course the power supply has has their own fans this is an incredible system if you can get something like this for a hundred bucks or two even 200 bucks um, for your own projects whether you want to run it as a net scaler in your lab or even in production with a license key or you wanted to turn it into something else uh, the only caveat is there are two, the two white ports are 6 gigabit per second, and there's four 3 gigabit per second SATA ports. So, unfortunately, it's not all 6 gigabit, but that's okay. Imagine if you had maybe two devices, or one or two devices for booting, uh, 6 gigabit, and four other drives running uh, in a RAID configuration, or even three of the four. That would also be uh, a decent a decent uh, setup. Super Micro. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, this is the X9PU. Is that an F? Motherboard. This is a proprietary motherboard, but there is information available from the Super Micro website on it, including the manuals, quick start guide. And the latest BIOS if you needed it. 
So that is the 8000 series, at least the original Citrix Netscaler 8000 series, what it looks like. The later models only had one drive, and I don't believe it had the other cages. just had a single drive because they removed the possibility for expa expansion. I think Citrix was planning to allow for multiple drives, maybe for logging, syslog type stuff perhaps, or for archiving. I'm not sure what their future plans are, or maybe to um, adding on the uh, SD-WAN, the WAN scale capabilities. Perhaps they were thinking about having dedicated drives for that, but it, it's not being used at this point. So, for N90X, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.